Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about PV fuel cell and battery based DC micro grid system in MATLAB. So this is a simulation model we created for the DC micro grid system having PV fuel cell and battery energy storage. So here you see that right it having fuel cell and fuel cell going to be connected to the common DC link. So this portion known as common DC link. In common DC link you have to connect all DC source. So here the DC source will be uh, that mean uh, sources will be fuel cell and PV and then battery can be act as a load as well as source according with the power balance in the system. So here we have fuel cell. The fuel cell uh, rating is under normal operating condition right. Normal operating condition that the power is 4.4 kilowatt and then maximum power is 7 kilowatt. Under normal operating condition, the current will be 20 amps and voltage is 220 volt. And uh, maximum power operation, right? Peak power operation, that current is 35 amps and 200 volt. So here we have around uh, 200 volt, right? 220 volt. And then it going to be step up to 400 volt by using this boost converter. So this is a boost converter. This boost converter is going to convert that 220 to 400 as well as so it will be take power from the fuel cell to the load as well as charge the battery according with the power balance. So next thing is PV panel. So here we are using uh, PV panel. So this is a PV panel. So this PV panel having uh, 8 series connected model, one parallel string and single model rating is 250 watts and voltage at maximum power point is 30.7 and current at maximum power point is 8.15 8.15 for the single panel so total power generation you will see here right you will uh, it will be generated around 2000 watts at a standard test condition so that mean 1000 watts per meter square and 25 degree celsius and here we have uh, this pv going to connect it to the dc bus via this boost converter and then here already I told right the voltage right voltages comes around 245 volt okay so this 245 volt will be boosted to 400 volt by means of this boost converter and also this boost converter going to be work along with the MPPT algorithm to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So next we have battery the battery is rated at 240 volt and rated capacity we consider 48 AH so you can change this rating as per your requirement so initial state of charge we are consider 50 percentage so this is going to be connected to the common uh, DC link via this birational converter so why we are using this birational converter because this battery can be act as a load as well as source so we need to take the power from the DC bus to charge the battery or we need to send power from battery to DC bus to satisfy the load. So for that we need a, this bad rational DC DC converter. So each converter right for example fuel cell converter boost converter and battery bi converter going to be controlled by means of voltage control method. In voltage control method we are going to measure the DC bus voltage. So here we are going to measure the DC bus voltage. So this DC bus voltage is going to be compared with the reference voltage. So the DC link voltage we are going to maintain at to 400 volt. So the 400 volt is going to be act as a reference voltage. So we are comparing that DC link voltage with the reference voltage 400 and it is going to be processed via PA controller. So this PA controller is going to act as a voltage controller. So it is going to be control the DC link voltage and it will be generate the duty cycle. So the duty cycle will be processed via petroleum generator. So it will be generate the pulse. So this pulse used to control this birational converter as well as a converter of the fuel cell. So next we are going to see about that boost converter in the PV side. So already it told right is going to be controlled by means of MPPT algorithm. So here you see that right here we have incremental conductance MPPT. So for that we have to measure the PV quantity. So here we are going to measure the PV quantity like voltage and current. So this voltage and current is going to be given to the 
incremental conductance MPPT. Incremental conductance will be generated the duty cycle. It going to be process way petroleum generator. So it will be generated the pulse. So this pulse going to be used to control this converter to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. Now this is the code for incremental conductance MPPT. So they have four parameter initial duty cycle, maximum duty cycle, minimum duty cycle, increment, decrement, small change in duty cycle. So next you have to fix different parameter for a previous instant quantity like V volt, P volt, D volt and I volt. And here you have to initialize the parameter for a previous instant 0 that means V volt equal to 0, P volt equal to 0, I volt equal to 0 and D volt equal to D in initial. So here we are calculating the power change in voltage, change in power, change in current. And then here we are applying that uh, the condition for uh, incremental conductance MPPT. So it have some set of rules. In order to in execute incremental conductance MPPT, first you have to check the change in voltage should be equal to zero or not. If it is equal to zero, next you have to check the change in current. If it is equal to or not, if it is, uh, both will be equal to zero, then the system already working at uh, a peak power point so no need to change any anything in the duty cycle if suppose the change in current is not equal to zero if change in current is greater than zero so we need to decrement the duty cycle otherwise we need to increment the duty cycle if suppose the change in voltage is not equal to zero then we have to compare that to incremental conductance mppt condition di by uh, dv which is equal to minus i by v if this condition is satisfied then system already is operated in the peak power point if suppose the di by dv is greater than minus i by b then we need to decrement the duty cycle or else we need to increment the duty cycle so after calculating that uh, duty cycle based upon this incremental conductance mppt conditions then we need to compare that uh, duty cycle with uh, d max and d minimum if suppose if that d value duty cycle value is within that limit no, no need to worry about that we have to use that directly otherwise if D, duty cycle is greater than d max and duty cycle is less than d minimum then you have to keep that duty cycle equal to that mean equal to d volt so here you have to override that uh, current instant with the previous instant so this code will be keep on executing for uh, every samples and it going to be calculate the duty cycle so that duty cycle going to be control this pedulum generator so that mean it going to be process by pedulum generator and then it will be generate the pulse so then it will be control this uh, boost converter to extract the PV, maximum power from the PV. So here I will uh, told that right, the, here we are using voltage controller that means PA controller. So that will be take care of the DC link voltage. Okay. So here we are using DC bus voltage around, sorry DC bus load around 2000 watts. And here we, uh, we are varying the irradiation. So here you see that right, we are varying the irradiation from 1500. Uh, and then 10 watts per meter square again we are changing to 500 1000 and here also we are changing that uh, pressure of that uh, fuel cell right from 1.1.3.51 so it is in uh, atmospheric pressure right and also we can change the condition here also we can change to 1 and 0 right so you have to control fuel cell also by controlling that uh, fuel cell uh, pressure and that means fuel pressure as well as air, air pressure so here we can control the irradiation so then we we can check the uh, result of that system so what about that uh, generation of pv generation of fuel cell and charging discharging of that battery and also load power and dc link voltage so this is the scope window is to see that variation of voltage current and power in the different sources and load side as well as battery so this scope used to measure the pv uh, quantity like pv voltage pv current and pv power and here we are measuring the fuel cell voltage fuel cell current fuel cell power so here we are measuring the battery voltage battery current here we are measuring dc bus voltage dc load current dc load power here we are measuring the soc of the battery so these are the output of the converter for each source side PV and fuel cell and battery converter DC load and then sum of the current at the DC bus so now I am going to execute this simulation so now you see that right 
initially that uh, pv operated at 1000 uh, watts per meter square so it will be generated around 2000 watts the voltage is around 245 volt and then current is around 8 amps so here you see that this is a fuel cell voltage the fuel cell voltage is around uh, 150 volt and then here you see that current will be around uh, 30 amps and it will be generated around uh, 4000 watts so here you see that battery voltage the battery voltage is maintained around 240 uh, 260 volt okay and then battery current is negative you see it indicate the charging mode so you can see that detail here right so here the source is keep on increasing because battery going for charging mode and here you see, the, see that, that the dc bus voltage is maintained around 400 so this is a dc load current is maintained around 5 amps and then dc load power is around 2000 watts so here you see that right this is a fuel cell current and uh, that mean converter current and this is a pv converter current and then this is battery current and then this is the battery converter current this is the load uh, dc load current and then sum of the current will be zero that indicate that the power balance maintained in the system so here you see uh, for keep on changing that to power variation pv power variation right so we will see that uh, variation in the fuel cell power as well as battery charging power as well as uh, you can see that variation in the converter current also in the soc of the battery also so next i am going to change the condition okay same thing i am going to do right so just i am going to do that the same uh, model so here i am going to after some seconds right i am going to change to 50 and also i am going to make that fuel uh, sorry, uh, fuel self pressure going to be zero after some seconds okay so for that i am going to use uh, manual switch here now i am going to simulate this model so now pv reach around 1000 watts per meter square that mean it generating 2000 now i am going to change the condition so just i am going to change this one to zero zero fuel self pressure will be zero and then i am changing irradiation to 50 watts per meter square next you have to check the system response now see that right uh, because of change in irradiation to 50 watts per meter square it comes to zero so it indicate that night operation and also the i change that fuel pressure to zero so it come nearer to zero now here you see that right uh, pv current sorry battery current is towards to positive direction so that mean it going for a discharging mode so here you see that that indication so here first position it will be change uh, uh, going for charging mode because there is excess power in this system so that's why it going charging after that uh, pv power comes to zero and fuel cell power comes to zero then it going for a discharging mode and also here you see that the power is that mean dc load power maintain constant because of battery discharging so here also you will see that right the variations right fuel cell converter current and uh, pv converter current and then battery current changing from positive to negative converter current and then you will see that right uh, the sum of current will be around 10 power minus 9 only that means it's almost zero so even though there is no power generation from the pv as well fuel cell then battery is supporting the load so this is the working of this model the working of uh, the dc micro system with the pv fuel cell and battery system so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also, and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye